What's up guys, this is Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys how to securely delete your files in Linux. Okay, so we all know the DD command. I believe I did a video on this previously and I've seen multiple videos done by other YouTubers uh, on the DD command. So anyway, the command I want to show you guys is shred. Now, I know this is a very old program. Um, and this actually was ported over from Unix uh, to the Linux platform. So it's, it's basically a utility that comes with all um, distributions of Linux. And basically what it's doing is it's overriding uh, devices and files uh, to help prevent even very expensive horrorware from recovering the data. Now, this site is the GNU, GNU.org. This is where I'm getting this from. I just wanted to pull up uh, the website so you guys can see. Uh, I'll go through the rest of this uh, in, the, in the main page. So, let's get started. Okay, so the distribution I want to use today is Manjaro. It's the same uh, virtual machine I used in the last video. And the only reason I'm using it again is because uh, it has all those files that I created. Uh, so let me go to the file manager right fast so I can just verify where they are because I don't remember. Okay, so it's under the my directory, uh, my documents directory. So. All right, let's zoom in on the terminal so you guys can see. All right. And then actually, let's go ahead and make this full screen so you guys can see better. So anyway, the shred command is actually not a package that you have to install on your system. Uh, it's already built into the operating system when you get it. So, first thing I want to do is go to the man page, and that's man shred, and press enter. And as you can see, it's the same information we looked at on the website. It says shred, overwrites a file to hide its content, and optional, optionally delete it. Um, so, this is the synopsis the shred, then the option, and then the files. It says overwrite the specific file repeatedly in order to make it harder for even very expensive hardware probing to recover the data. Um, and here are the options. I'm not going to go through them all. You can check them out for yourself if you want to. Um, but let's get started. I'm going to go down and show you guys how to actually use the command. And it's very simple. So this video will be super short. Uh, it's only two ways that I actually run it. Well, actually, uh, one way, really. Um, and the way you do it, uh, and actually, let's CD to my documents directory, which is where those files are, or test files, and let's ls the directory. Okay, so. So, let's see what we got here. So let's delete these B files. So I'm not, I don't like those files, so let's get rid of them. Uh, they're super secret and I don't want nobody, and I don't want nobody to recover them. So let's shred them right fast. So I'm gonna do shred, um, let's go BF, and let's go one, tab, and BF, uh, two, Tab and then let's go BF three and tab that out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is delete these three files. So BF file zero one, BF file zero two, BF file zero three dot text, and um, we're gonna shred them. So let's press enter on it and see what happens. Boom. So let's run the ls command again and see what happens. And as you can see. These files are actually still there. And wait, so what happened? Well, they've been shredded. And basically what it does is it overwrites those files. But it doesn't actually delete it. 
like when we read in the man page it says with an optional of delete so in order to delete those files we can actually just remove them now if we want to uh, but currently they're unreadable if I had some text in them you you'll see that they won't open up or anything so anyway that leads me to the next way I want to show you guys how to run a command is basically with the U option and so basically what I'm doing is running <laughs> over these files again even though they've been shredded but this time it'll shred them again and then delete them so let's press enter on that and it'll take a little time because it's actually removing the files as well and so now if we ls that directory we'll see that those files are gone so bf file uh one two and three are gone from this directory so and lastly I'm going to show you guys that you can use the shred uh, command to run directly on a partition so if you let's go ls block or ls blk press enter that'll show us all our partitions and where they're mounted so be very very careful when running the shred, shred command on partitions you want to make sure you select the right one that you don't uh, wipe out your your OS so um, and all the partitions or all the devices are mounted under the device directory or is actually shown on the device direct device directory and then this is where they're mounted but they're all under dev and if we tab dev well actually I'm not going to do that it's not it's going to show too many so let's uh, go SD and tab as you can see you see the actual device which is SDA and then the partition so SDA1 and then SDA2 as we can see that's the boot partition and this is the root partition uh, SDA2 so let's say you want to uh, run shred on SDA2 which is the root partition well that will shred all the files on the root partition uh, everything on the root partition and uh, screw up your system so you don't want to do that so let's say you have a external drive um, that's uh, mounted on SDB1 or something uh, well you can um, you can shred that partition or whatever and then you can you know go from there and either sell that horror drive or whatever because that's that's when I've used this these commands that's the only time I've used these commands really is when I'm actually selling a horror drive to someone on Craigslist or whatever uh, this is just an uh, application I'll use on a horror drive just to make sure nobody can recover my data if I sell it you know to some shady person because uh, all I care about is the money I don't want to give them my data so I use this command to shred my uh, drives so I can get rid of any remnants of the data. Now, quick note, it's only running uh, over the files three times. Uh, well, there is software out there that can, that can still go back and catch and get some of the data uh, if you're using it. So you can specify in the shred command by you running another option which is dash in and then the number of times the default is actually three but you can let's say you want to run over 10 times on a file um, that'll take a long time on a full partition but uh, if you want to run it over a file let's say 10 times it'll do it for you you can specify the number uh, like this by running the trade command with the dash in option and specifying the time, the amount of times you want it to run. But by default, uh, three is good enough um, in most cases, but just know that it's not a guarantee uh, that people won't be able to uh, recover your data, but this is, this will make it very hard. It'll make it very difficult for them to gather your data. So that's all I want to show you guys. I appreciate you checking out the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave comments down below. I really enjoy the comments. I like uh, responding to people, you know, on their questions or whatever. Uh, 
but let's just keep the you know conversation going if you can and also i set up a discord server i actually had my son set up me a discord server because i'm I, I use it i've used it in the past but he knows the ins and outs so i was like hey man go down set me up a discord server so anyway he set me up a discord server uh the link is down in the description to the discord server and then also i run a facebook group i know a lot of people on linux are very privacy um you know advocates and everything and they don't like facebook and all that stuff but i do have a facebook group that uh i run with about fourteen thousand uh members in it uh it's called the power of linux i'll put the link down in the description below but this facebook group is all about linux all of, you can post all your linux topics you can talk to me i'm on there um and some of my friends from facebook uh, that also follow me as well so thanks for watching and keep it techie